Our sight when turbulence hits and it feels like the plane's dropping out of the sky, your brain's lying to you. Uh, because most turbulence doesn't throw the jet more than a few feet, about the height of a car. Your inner ear exaggerates every jolt, turning a two-foot bump into a freefall in your mind. But the aircraft's movement is tiny compared to what it feels like inside your head. Those sudden drops are just short bursts of vertical air. Not dives, not falls, just airflow shifts. Modern airliners are built like tanks. Their structures are stress-tested to handle 50% more force than even the most extreme turbulence can produce. The wings can flex meters up and down without damage. They're designed to bend, not break. It's controlled elasticity, not chaos. Pilots often compare turbulence to driving down a gravel road, rough, unpredictable, but harmless. They slow down, change altitude, and ride it out. The autopilot stays on, the wings keep flexing, and the aircraft just keeps flying. So next time the cabin rattles and your stomach drops, remember, the plane's not falling. It's barely moving. What feels terrifying is physics doing its job and structure doing what it was built for. Still, do you trust the numbers or your instincts when the sky starts shaking?